Intersex as a term can be a bit complicated. Um, it's not a problem how to explain, but it's, I find very difficult how to understand what does it mean to be intersex. A lot of people, when they hear the word intersex, they immediately think of people who do not identify as men or women. Society recognizes, like I would say, two boxes of people, like male or female. Gender uh, is not always connected to the sex. Some intersex people don't identify as men or women. The majority of intersex people do but their biology is in some way slightly different. Being intersex is not being something else, just being a little bit different than the others. We're talking about people who are born with biological features related to their sex, which doctors believe cannot be clearly identified as male or female immediately. There is no strict definition, there is no clear definition about what is what is man and what is woman. There is no such definition. I want to say that sex is a feeling, but then someone would say that it's more about gender. This can be to do with their chromosome makeup, this can be to do with their reproductive system, this can be to do, do with their genitalia, or their hormone production or hormone sensitivity in any way. It's a simple reality. It just means that our sex characteristics don't fit the stereotypical definitions of what they should be. Our sex characteristics and bodies are healthy bodies. And because they don't fit into that neat little box, then the medical profession often tries to change our bodies so that they fit as perfectly as they can into those predefined boxes. I think the main obstacle lies down between the ideas that bodies do not belong to us. Intersex people are getting, without permission, surgeries and medical treatments. These are unconsensual surgeries. The standard practice which is made on the intersex kids is clearly on human treatment and experiments. No any doctors is informed and or have knowledge about the real consequences of this surgery. The problem is not just to push the parent in the right direction, is to help the parent to understand what's possibility there and why the surgeries are most of the time very severe. Many doctors don't pay attention of what will happen with this kids when they grown up. A lot of parents that I've been talking with, they have regrets. Changing focus for the, from the medical perspective to human perspective, to human rights perspective, is definitely mind-changing, even for the doctors. So what can people do to support intersex people? I can suggest just to listen. I think that could be the starting point discuss the issues that we face in a respectful and supportive way. It's about not making assumptions about persons. Don't lump intersex people into a category that you yourself choose, but let them define who they are as a person. For every person that is intersex in Slovenia or maybe somewhere else, I would like to say that you're perfectly fine, you're okay, you're perfect the way you are and just be you.